Hello everyone. In this very unique tutorial, I will show you how I go about making some really neat night lights. I will cover two very important topics. The first being how I go about engraving clear acrylic in a very easy no mess process. I will also cover how I go about painting and building the snap-in module that is designed to fit on some very inexpensive LED plugins. Don't forget to watch until the end where I will show you many different designs I've created and how you can also use them as a tabletop mount as well. Let's get started. When using a diode laser on clear acrylic, many will say it's impossible and the list goes on as far as what you need to do with masking layers on top or use of cardboard and washable paints. The problem I found, for my application at least, was the inconsistencies in using cardboard that wasn't perfectly flat. Also, when trying to use washable tempera paint or many different washable paints, I had an issue with paint dry time and then how messy it was to clean up. Not to mention, I got to a point where I was literally scratching the acrylic trying to remove the paint from the actual engraved area. My secret imperfect in this process for my application is by using this type of cardboard cardstock. While being perfectly flat, a homogeneous surface for light is achieved and very easy to see results right away. You will cut it to size to ensure you can clamp material all together. And please make sure you remove the plastic film from acrylic as well, since this will affect the final results. Contrary to what Google says, after many trial and error tests, I achieved the best results by placing the cardstock underneath the acrylic. I then used the tools available in my XTool Creative Space software to measure out my material since this was the fastest way to correctly set up my canvas. I then added the image I wanted to engrave and size it within my material constraints. As you will see in the end of this video, yes, you can engrave or score the outline of your subject, but I noticed a more dramatic light effect by engraving. I'll leave you to judge that as this is very subjective. Now for settings, as you can see here, I provided what ended up working for me using a 10 watt and also 20 watt laser module. But if you're an Xtool user, the three millimeter black acrylic standard setting for engraving will do. If cardstock is dark while engraving, it means your acrylic piece is also engraved, even though it's hard to see right away. I'm going to stop you here in case you see what I saw before you call me a liar. I want to explain that while trying many different processes, once I saw what you're about to see, try after try, I was seriously on my last try before I gave up on using a diode laser to do this whole process, succumbing to the hundreds of laser experts saying it's impossible. I'm embarrassed to say that one final step I was missing was to simply clean away the sticky residue left by the engraving process. Yes. Something as simple as washing away with Windex or water is all you need to do to complete this process. While noticing a smoky sheen that seemed permanent is what prompted me to think that my engraving was a major fail. After making many different designs, I later learned that water works just as well, but using Windex and lightly scrubbing removes the fingerprints as well. As you can see on this exact same acrylic piece I showed you before, this process works perfectly and no need to mask material with lengthy and messy procedures. I will now cover how to assemble the wooden module acrylic piece holder and LED plug-in insert. As you will notice, the design is based on a very simple rectangular box shape. This is on purpose to be able to add a front facade and a decorative piece which gives the nightlight an eye-catching daytime look. Since the acrylic sheets are meant to be interchangeable, you will notice these small side brackets having these U-shaped tips to them. Ensure that they are facing up since they will serve as folders for the bigger square shape acrylic inserts. The circular type inserts, based on their shape, seem to stay straight while the bigger ones tend to lean a little bit more. Tolerances are tight with design, so you can choose to adhere the top piece or leave it removable, which comes in handy when using nightlight as a tabletop mount with LED tea lights.
Before mounting a daytime decorative piece, I will show you how I go about painting it. If you're anything like me and always moving fast, I always choose simple designs that pop out with a minimalistic approach to painting. I like to use permanent markers to keep this process fast and less messy as using a paintbrush. Speaking of messy, if you happen to get paint in the outline of a decorative piece, you can place back into cutout area or realign quickly to run the engraving process again. As you will see, it removes any unintended paint marks and creates a perfect clean line again. When adhering the decorative piece, the main tip is to ensure it will be mounted to the front side of the lamp, so feel free to do a double check by applying the LED plug-in to check it. Find out what looks best for you and feel free to add some markings before placing it in a final location. Once ready, simply insert the acrylic piece and you're ready to enjoy this very unique eye-catching piece. Please feel free to leave your thoughts on this process, even if it's constructive criticism. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks, and share this video with any others who may be wanting to try a different process when engraving clear acrylic. I will see you on my next build, and thank you guys for watching.